Um, you know, I'm gonna come out with a cool little thing. I hope you guys like what I'm about to say. Um, I say Hades and uh, should have been in Sound Stage 22 by itself, and Legendary Truth and Psycho Scarabee work together in the same sound stage, basically. Um, you know, Legendary Truth investigating the old Shady Brook Hospital. That would have been pretty awesome, too, if we could. You could tie a storyline in both of them because they're both paranormal mazes. You know, echoes of Shady Brook, you know? It's the echoes of Shady Brook. And, um. You know, the house. The house is right next to Shady Brook. You know, the estate is right next to Shady Brook. And so, you know, long story, you know, and then the ghosts from Shady Brook are now haunting that house as they run back and forth to different areas. That would have been pretty kick-ass if they could do it, and Hades would be in Soundstage 22 as an independent house. Which should be an independent house, technically speaking. If you're going through the gates of hell, they should be very elaborate. Th you know, elaborate, you know, you gotta hear. I don't know how they're gonna deal with the sound. Sometimes in certain mazes, you can actually hear... The sound of the next maze next to it sometimes, uh, if you pay really close attention. Um, I really think what they're going to do with uh, Psychoscarapy is um, make it look all abandoned and then uh, have that Summer's Place, but they're going to try to make it a little eerie, like it's, you know, on a record, you know, basically uh, turning on and off by Ghost. Which, technically, Legendary and Truth and Shady Brand and Psycho Scary should have been together. Um, and Hades would be in sound. I think that was a mistake uh, they made. Um, I really do. I don't know I don't know why they wanted to move Hades right next to... You know, it, it, it's two different type of things. It's two different... One's the Gates of Hell and the other one's an abandoned mental hospital. You know, you should have moved that to the uh, next to the estate. So legendary truth can actually tie in a story to the estate, to the you know, it, you know, it could have been a good tie-in story. That would have been a great tie-in story, basically, with their together. And the problem is with that, I think. No, they could have made it. Or maybe legendary truth would needed their own. Uh, maybe they needed their own. Uh, Soundstage, which is going to be elaborate. I don't know. It could be. I don't. But it'd be kind of cool if they could just tie it in the story with Shady Brook and Legendary Truth. That would have been kind of cool if they investigate the abandoned mental hospital Shady Brook. That would have been pretty kick ass, but I don't know. Ugh. Tell me what you guys think. I, I think that would be kind of cool. I just don't like. I, I, I have bad doubts about Havoc, Dogs of War, and then the Orphan. Actually. Orphanage, I'm going to see. Um, but Catacombs, Havoc, and probably the Orphanage. Which, Zombie Geddon, I'm really not sure. Um, I like zombies. And if they do that cool little car effect smell of uh, antifreeze coming out of the engine, you know, in the engine area, that's, that's going to be kick-ass. And I'm going to like that, so I'm not going to get angry about that. But that's going to be a separate maze. At a se and I'm just not a big fan of Hades is going to be right next to uh, Psycho Scarapy. I'm not a big fan of that. They should have moved into an independent cell and stage and moved Legendary Truth right under it. That's what gets to me. But maybe it's all for the best. Um, Yeah, Havoc and Catacombs. I I'm really worried. Horror Nights... Hollow's Past is going to be in the Parade Building. They did pretty good with uh, Silver Screams. And if they can have detailed sets like in Silver Screams in that Parade Building, that would be so wonderful. It would be so cool if they could do something very detailed. Oh, it's always detailed in that, mate. In, in, in there, it's very detailed. Um, Scary Tales was very detailed, and, uh, everything else in that, in that area was pretty much detailed. Zombie Grass, I don't know. Zombie Grass is going to be tied in, I bet you, with, uh, Zombie Geddon. So, Zombie Grass and Zombie Geddon are going to, you know, get in. Saws and, uh, Steam. I, 
I don't know what that's gonna be like. It's gonna be in New York. Bet you people are gonna be cut with gigantic saws. That's gonna be kick, kick ass when you look at it. The coven. I don't know. I'm getting tired of those type of uh, gothic type of mazes. EM. Uh, Plaza of Stairs. Plaza of the Stairs. Uh, I don't know. Uh huh. Really, I don't know about that maze. You know, I, Hollywood Boulevard, H H N. Twenty Years of Fear. I thought they're gonna have like, I thought they're gonna have like something in the front, the front gate, like the Mirrored Men. I heard, but I don't. That mirrored man, that, that that was those those costumes were kick kick butt with a three two dimensional mirror you look into, but really they they were not scary. They were kind of interesting, you know. They were very flexible, but that's about it. I'm worried about the zombie grass. You gotta go into zombie grass. It's gonna be like this party of zombies, and then you gotta go into uh, zombie getting. All right, and they're gonna change the whole storyline. It, it's gonna be like a party Mar Mardi Gras out there, and it, it, I don't like how they transition that. It seems like an Adrian thing. It seems like, you know, Disco Dancing Zombies. Exactly. It's it's Disco Dancing Zombies with um, with a, a New Orleans type of... Ugh! Why did they... I, I, I know, I hope Mike Roddy didn't... You know, I don't think... I think they came up with that design after he left. I guarantee you. You know, I think Mike Roddy wanted Psycho Scare... Psycho uh, Hades, and I think, um, Legendary Truth, and, uh, and then the rest were just thrown into a gigantic, and the Horror Knights, Hollowed Past, that's pretty much, I think, that was his maze with, uh, Psycho Scarapy and Hades, Legendary Truth, I think it was TJ Marino's, Zombie, and then, the, and then some, I, I, Havoc, Dogs of War, and then, uh, the orphanage, ashes to ashes. I'm not saying it's, it's all about Cindy, so I don't know. But it seems like they threw those those mazes together very quickly after he left. I think the uh, mazes he was going to do: Psycho Scarpy, Hades, and uh, the Hollow Halloween, you know, the Horror Nights, the Hollows Past. I think that's going to be awesome. And and then when they went to the the, um, the scare zones, I think he wanted the HHN Twenty Years of Fear. Um, it, XX, you know, that one. Fear Revealed. 20 Review. Uh, Fear Review. Uh, revealed. Zombie Grass, I think, was just thrown like an Adrian type of thing. It, it's ridiculous. It's gonna be like partying zombie. Ah, oh, what the f And then we got your Saws and Steam, which I think that was created by uh, Mike Aiello, I think. Or he helped with that one. I, I really do. Mike Roddy and Mike Aiello actually helped with that one. The Coven, I think, was just another concept of a, a scare zone. And the ESQ, I, Esquilo to Moret. I you can't even say that word. Uh, you know, that's going to be, uh, it's going to be okay, but. I'm kind of... I don't really like zombie grass. And then you're going to... They're going to have it in San Francisco, definitely. And what they're going to do is going to tie it in with the... Uh, the zombie getting, so... I don't know. It's going to... I'm going to like it. It's going to have that cool smell in there. I hope they use that, uh, that vehicle. It's the same truck. They have pumped that smell out, so that's going to... A cool smell. I like that. I, it brings to the maze, but why would you have zombie Mardi Gras? I, I, you know, it's in San Francisco. I can understand why you want Mardi Gras in that because it's Mardi Gras. And, but why? It sounds like such like an Adrian thing, and he doesn't work there anymore. Last time I heard, I, you know, I'm shocked they didn't can that guy. That guy was a horror. He kept on wanting disco dancing zombies. What the? And he wanted other junk that, you know, no one was actually interested in. And then there's the zombie grass, man. What the? What the? They're going to have beads? They're going to throw beads at you? This, it's, that's going to happen. That's that's a major turnoff. It's a huge major turnoff. 
Yeah, no, I was looking forward to Hades, uh, Legendary Truth, and, um... Uh... Zombie... The Zombie Maze, and then... Uh... Yeah, I was actually looking at that. And, you know, Horror Nights, the Hollow Hollows Pass. I think they're gonna do something cool with that maze. But mostly I was interested in Psychoscarapy and Hades. You know, I thought Hades was going to be, um, kind of weird. I thought they were going to put him in a sprung tent, one of those tents. They're putting him in a sound studio. So I really think it's going to be very detailed, which I'm going to like. So I like the detailed mazes in the sound studios better than the other mazes. Yeah, I, I, I can understand they, you know, they, they have a lot more to work with. But I did like uh, Leave It to Cleaver last year, so Leave It to Cleaver was kick ass. I loved Leave It. To I loved how the whole thing was set up. Very nice. I I enjoyed it very much. Um, I just not a big fan of Zombie Grass. Who? That sounds just like an Adrian. I think they just did that for him or something, or a memory of him or something. Why the hell do you put something like that? Up? Like zombie? If they have beads, if zombies are throwing beads. I'm going to have the most biggest headache in the world. I really will, because that's going to ruin the whole event. That's going to, you know, they're going to give me a thumbs down. I don't care. If you like zombies dancing to Mardi Gras music and throwing beads, well, you, sir, are a fool. You know, how much junk do we need, you know, that, you know, to a diehard horror fan, you know, I've been, love haunted attractions, I worked in them all my life, and I designed them, did everything, and the problem was with haunted attraction business is, you're going to have one little thing and it can destroy the whole event, and I think that zombie grass is going to destroy the whole event. Because they're taking something what Adrian put down a long time ago, and they're... Th I think that's the why probably Mr. Roddy left. Well, Mike left. Mike left because of that. I guarantee you, Zombie Grass, I think he got real fed up. I really did. I really think he left because of that, because it sounds just like an Adrian thing. And I'm not a big fan of Adrian either. He was... He, he took Horror Nights and not let anyone be creative, and he, I don't know, he was, he was not a very, I don't think he's there anymore, I don't know where he is, he probably is there, I'm, you know, I couldn't stand that guy, I really couldn't stand him, you know, as a guest, you know, I was not there when he was around, he was there like in, I think, 96, 97, 98, around there. When I went to those things, I felt really ripped off because of that Adrian dude. I, 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 I felt ripped off. I knew who was doing it. I've been in the business since I was in high school, kind of, because I had friends, you know, my, I had teachers who were in the haunted attraction business. And so, I got myself into the business, too, so... And then I got myself in the entertainment business and all that fun stuff. And it just went, it went down, it didn't go downhill. I just had a uphill battle, battle for, for a lot of uh, credibility and all that. But soon, you know, everything was even road. And, uh, I just don't like that zombie grass whatsoever. I think that's going to destroy, destroy the event. I guarantee you. It's going to be a bunch of, I'm going to go in there and you're going to see a bunch of zombies throwing beads. Or, they're going to be having zombies and they're going to be zombies walking around with beads on. Ugh. What next? You're going to have a thriller dance in the street. How many times are we going to see that thriller dance? Anywho, that's my two cents. But the rest of it, I think it's going to be pretty cool. They, they just need to change... It. Well, they can't change the studio, the sound studio stages because they already built the damn sets. So talk to you later.